Well, I think what has helped me, you don't need to, you don't need to be real smart to be an investor. It, it, uh, we try to keep that among ourselves, uh, we <laughs> investors. But, uh, but the truth, I, I've, I've often told audiences in the United States that if, if you have 160 IQ, sell 30 points to somebody else because you won't need it in investing. And, but what you do need, you need a reasonable intelligence and you need, you need a passion for the activity. I mean, any, to do anything well, you, kinda, you have to love it, I think. I, uh, and, but the most important ingredient is temperament. Uh, you have to have the ability to form your own opinion, disregard uh, the sentiment around you. You can't get excited because other people are excited or depressed because other people are depressed. You have to have, now you shouldn't get excited just because they're depressed or depressed just because they're excited. <laughs> but, but you have to have, you have to have a, an ability to look at facts and think about them independent of the chatter you hear in the background, and I would say that that uh, that's about that's about 80% of investing. Uh, uh, and if you have that, you will have these other qualities like patience. I'm not a gutsy investor. I mean, I uh, uh, I, I just do things that are pretty simple and and uh, obvious. Uh, and I don't feel I have to get rich tomorrow or the next day or next week. I mean, I, if, if I've made a decision, in fact, the real test is this. If you're buying a stock, would you buy that stock if you knew they were gonna close the stock exchange for a couple of years? Now, people buy farms all the time and they don't get a quote on it the next day or the next week or the next month. They buy apartment houses and they don't go run out and get a quote a week later or a month later. They look to the apartment house itself or they look to the farm itself in terms of what it produces to validate their investment decision. But when they buy a stock, they want to look at the price the next morning to see whether they made the right decision or not. And that's just foolish. I mean, if you, buy, if you bought into a private business, you would look to the business to see how it, uh, it performed. If it earned more money year after year and could pay out a reasonable amount to you, you'd feel quite satisfied and you wouldn't feel you had to get a quote every day. So if you're buying a stock, I mean, we're buying one stock now uh, at the moment. and. If the New York Stock Exchange closed tomorrow and stayed closed for a couple of years, I would feel fine with that stock because I'm looking to the business itself and not to the stock. And that, that attitude, which was taught to me by a fellow named Benjamin Graham 60 years ago, is still a, is, it's the fundamental philosophy by which I operate. And if you have that approach and you can ignore the, the enthusiasms and the, and, the, and the wails of the crowd and all of that sort of thing, uh, you're bound to do well in, 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 in stocks. Mm.